Hey boys, welcome back to some more Cricket 19, continuing on with our career mode here in the T20 Clash, and uh, well, we're up to episode episode 46, we're approaching, uh, we're approaching the half century mark, when uh, not too bad considering I did have a fair, a fair break in between, um, in between uploads, for, uh, I guess base. I mean, over like the the footy season, basically. So, you know, approaching that fifty mark, which is, uh, you know, I do like to hit those uh, those milestones. Um, we're gonna win the toss here. Hopefully, uh, old mate has a bat first, so we can potentially get a few runs on the board. And uh, Jimmy Pearson is going to elect to bat, which is very good. Take you on the Redbacks and. Yeah, we're uh, we're at our home home game here. We got a, I mean, we got a pretty strong lineup. But yeah, as you can see, we're we're number five in the order, dude. <laughs> a bit rough. I mean, we are far and away our team's best batter. And there you go, right there. We uh, we don't we don't get a chance to shine. It looks like we are in a very dominant position in this match. Um, they need 112 or 48 deliveries. We get a we get a chance to come on and and maybe sneak a couple of wickets as Cameron Valente there goes for a bit of a heave ho, I mean he might as well um no siders no siders at all just uh just predicting the uh the orthodox spinner and he got away with it right there he's just uh, chipped it up into the gap but you know tail enders here not much else they can really do just just have a bit of a bit of a slog we've got a I, this is just the default field, honestly. It's uh, it's a you know, honestly, it's not a bad field for this stage of the game. Usually, I mean, honestly, having like the mid on mid on <laughs> again, he's got <laughs> this time is Joe Manny. What is this shot, dude? <laughs> he's this like back foot trying to smack it over like mid wicket. How on earth? As a little bit of a fight back, Cameron Valente. He's thirty off thirty, so I mean, he's. <laughs> Not so much pushing for victories. This one is chipped up. Almost a catch. I think it might be... It is six. 80 meters. I thought It looked like a... Not a huge boundary, but it's 80 meters. That's uh, that's quite a quite a big strike from uh, from Valente. He is a... I think he is like a decent all-rounder. Again, a play and a miss. We, uh, we've had the wood over him, but just cannot... Cannot get this wicket into our second over here. And uh, him and Andrews putting on a you know a few runs, which no no chance of winning. But you might as well might as well get your money's worth, get out and and uh, have a bat in the middle. No point, no point just giving it away at the end here. And uh, these two are, are digging in more than uh, <laughs> more than can be said for their top and middle order as we do win the game. Forty six runs, we did absolutely jack all in this match. <laughs> there was. <laughs> Bowled a couple of fairly tidy overs and then uh, didn't get a chance with the bat. So, yeah, Sam Hazlitt, Humphrey, um, Lynn and Brian didn't get off to the greatest of starts, but uh, two for 183. Got to be happy with that. And uh, I didn't see someone got a four for, for our for our team as uh, we're going to take you on uh, the uh, the Tasmanian Tigers here. Tasmania Tigers. Is that... <laughs> Yeah, Tasmanian Tigers. I don't know why it just sounded so strange because Tasmanian Tigers, they're they're a real animal, and I, I don't know why. But when I said it out loud, I'm like, is that their actual name, the Tasmanian Tigers? <laughs> um, but whatever, dude. We're gonna be taking them on. Hopefully, we can have a bat, and that's that's what I was alluding to at the very start. The T20s batting number five in the order. Um, it's uh, it's a bad it's a bad position to be in, and we should be higher. We really should be higher. Uh, is it, look at the lush, the lush outfield, as green as you could possibly imagine. No droughts happening in uh, in Tassie apparently. Good lord, lush. It's beautiful, and uh, we are gonna get a sneaky uh, a sneaky chance here. Average of thirty seven, and. We so honestly, we got a few overs to work with. It's a, a pretty good position. Myself, Chris Lynn, is at the crease. He hasn't faced many balls. Is this uh, first delivery absolutely smacked? <laughs> it was quick. 148, 148 Ks. Meredith can crank it up, but that is just uh, 
That's in the spot. It's in the slot for us. And we have absolutely nailed it. He goes short again. And this one is more of a top edge. It's going to go even further, I think. 110 meters. I think the last was 103 meters. So starting the game here with an absolute flurry. And honestly, just making up for a bit of lost time. 12 off 2. <laughs> and, you know, trying to, trying to get our name in the in this in the captain's mouth you know push us up buddy we're, we're wasted we're wasted in number five in the order we've uh we've come out and uh and put on a couple of uh a couple of nice shots early strike rate 466 don't mind it at all and uh hopefully uh if me and lynn can stay out for the rest of these six and a bit overs we can uh re really put on a, a score is this one <laughs> almost I don't know, look at that, good footwork, good timing, ideal shot choice, and it almost, we almost hit it straight to the keeper, it was a bit of a bottom edge, I don't know, it was very, very strange, but uh, yeah, a bit uh, a bit lucky, I guess, not to get out, but it also would have been very unlucky because of the, the three greens, <laughs> as uh, we get a nice juicy full ball, it is straight over the fielder, um, but you know, there's like a, Whenever I see it full like that, if it's a full toss and if it's short, in a in a short form game, I'm I'm going big. I'm going six, six or out. Honestly, if there's a fielder back there and he, he takes it on the rope, that's uh, that's how it goes. Unfortunately, he he gives us uh, that's just a good length delivery. I was uh, you know seeing him well, and that that's a bit of a case of probably hitting them too well to start we were just we were in the we were in the, in the hitting mood which isn't bad i mean we made a a very handy uh, few runs there off no delivery so it's not it's not a terrible thing to get out um but yeah bit annoying bit annoying if we had our time again we had we had time we had time to bat we could have just uh we could have played the ball more and its merits if if uh um you know the the old the old catchphrase there because you know we had plenty of time we were going gangbusters already there well, there wasn't really a need to to try to hit that one for six we were just we were feeling good confident and uh and went for it as uh, Benny McDermott he's uh he's definitely the danger man they're they're in a bit of strife for sure 123 of 68 remaining but uh, McDermott he can turn it on like the best of them Bo Webster also a pretty handy young talent at the other end. Uh, and probably, I don't know, I'm assuming Bailey is going to come in next, so, you know, this, this game is not, it's not done and dusted, but, uh, they're looking a little bit shaky, that's a, it's a bit of a thick outside, a <laughs> bit of a thick outside edge, but you'll take it, you'll take, uh, that sort of shot, he's, he's trying to play it too fine, uh, third man, I should say, so it's not a, it's not a, a lucky shot at all, as, uh, we come back here, and what are they... Okay, I mean, they're going at just a tick under 8, 102 off 53, Webster is still at the crease, he needs to, he, he's, he's got to be the guy to go here, McDermott is doing his part, um, almost 50 off 33, Webster, he's, he's just got to, he's got to start swinging for the fences as uh, McDermott here goes downtown, just, 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 just over mid-off's head. He was actually closer than he usually would be. There's the 50 off uh, 30, uh, 30 odd balls, which is uh, pretty handy. Um, but we do, we do get our man McDermott. You know, he's he's trying to play the innings of his life here. He's gone for the reverse, the well, the switch hit, and uh, we've cleaned him up middle stump. That's your, that's a perfect leggy to a left hander. So <laughs> he made it easy for us. And uh, McDermott there raising his bat. He did his, he did his best. Um, didn't have too much help up the other end, unfortunately. Webster, I mean, 33 off 27. It's not, it's not terrible as uh, Bailey first ball here. I mean. You know, again, Bailey, he's going to go for the win. He, he's not a guy to play for averages or stats. He, he's going to go for the win. So expect uh, expect a few fireworks in uh, in his innings. This one flicked beautifully off the pads. Jeez, it's going to it's going to race for four as well. So a couple of a couple of handy boundaries to start. You just sort of wonder if uh, if Webster either went earlier and, and got a quick fire forty odd. Um, or he just got out, and uh, Bailey and McDermott were at the crease. Could have been, could have been a totally different game. But you, you get a guy that's in, uh, going well like McDermott, and then another guy, Webster, up the other end, who's just sort of, just, uh, just slowing it down. Um, 
as this one again. I mean, I I could put the field back, but honestly, I was going for wickets. It's a bit uh, it's a bit greedy for sure. And Bailey, <laughs> Bailey is definitely making us pay. Jeez, we got the wicket in the over, but uh, sixteen coming off it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's 20 off 8, and now Malenko is at the crease, he's 6 off 1, so all of a sudden, they need 42 off 20 deliveries, and a couple of balls left in our spell, we've, uh, our third over, we let slip, <laughs> but we're pegging it back here, we're pegging it back with this fourth over, it's been a good one, and uh, we finish it off well as well, we uh, we kept that one pretty tight, only, uh, only a couple coming off it, I think, um, I'm going to go for the challenge just because, why not? Um, you know, if this is just a freakish delivery, Bailey is gone, game is set and match. Um, so, we're going to go for it. And also, it's my bowling, so we uh, we take any opportunity we can to, to get a to jag or wicket. He goes for another reverse, uh, reverse sweep here. I don't think he hits it, but, uh, okay, yeah, definitely... Definitely outside the line of off stump. I knew it. I mean, you know, I knew it wasn't going to be out. Um, I mean, it could be hitting the wickets. No, it's still going to be missing the wickets. It did jag back, but uh, definitely not not quite enough. <laughs> not quite enough. The uh, It drifted away quite a bit and then uh, didn't quite straighten. But it uh, looks like, what do they need? I mean, they, it's going to be tight. Who wins? They won! <laughs> Jordan Bailey, 38 off 18. Good Lord, how do we lose? <laughs> oh no, that's uh, that's a shocker, boys. <laughs> what a win from, uh, from the Tigers. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.